Hi, welcome to another edition of the Everlast Power Video Series. Today we're going to be looking at the Power Ultra 205P. The 205P is a DC only output entry level unit. However, that does not mean it doesn't have plenty of capability to get the job done. With a pulse TIG, stick, and plasma function, the 205P has more than enough to get you through the average repair. The Power Ultra 205P the process machine as we discussed, this carries a 200 amp TIG, 160 amp stick, and a 50 amp plasma cutter, all combined into one unit. To improve the versatility of the 205P, we've added 120, 240 volt dual voltage operation. It's important to note that this is a DC output entry level unit. That means you're not going to be able to weld aluminum with it. However, you can weld about any other kind of metal that you desire. As far as plasma cutting is concerned, you can cut any kind of metal that you come across, including aluminum. Stick, you can find some aluminum welding rods, but you better have a deep pocket when you go to weld. This is your on indicator. It should be on any time your unit is on to indicate that power is flowing correctly. This is your duty cycle and overcurrent indicator. Now depending on what has happened, uh, this unit will interrupt the welding and the light will be on uh, if you ex experience a duty cycle problem or you have a overcurrent situation. This is your amp control knob. This will automatically regulate when you change your functions such as going from TIG to plasma or plasma to stick, your maximum amps will automatically be limited to the rating of the unit. This is your post flow control. This works for your TIG torch uh, for post flow. It works for your plasma torch for gas post flow to cool your torch head after you finish cutting. This is your panel or pedal operation. To operate your foot pedal, you simply switch it to pedal, and then you use your pedal to run the amps from 5 to 200 amps. As we said, there is no limitation maximum amp control once you plug your pedal in. You have the full range of amps from 5 to 200 amps available at the foot pedal at all times. This is your process selector. Uh, on the bottom you have TIG, in the middle you have plasma, and on top you have stick. This is your air pressure indicator. Your pressure should be somewhere between 45 to 70 PSI for best operation. Now, for average cutting, you're going to be running 40 to 50 amps, and it's going to require 60 to 65 PSI. You're going to need an air compressor of sufficient size of at least 4 CFM uh, at 90 PSI, and preferably at least a 30-gallon reserve tank. For the lower part of the panel, we're going to proceed left to right. The left side of the panel is your workpiece connection. Now this is where your work clamp will go for TIG and plasma operation. It's important to note for stick operation, it will actually be reversed and your torch will go into this connection right here. For plasma operation, this is your pilot arc. Now the pilot arc is used to uh, start an arc with the unit. If you're cutting rusty, dirty, or painted metal, this is an important function. And it must be connected at all times to use the S45 torch. This is the control. This is where your torch switch for your TIG, your plasma torch switch, uh, and your foot pedal are connected. Now it can only one can be connected at a time, obviously. So you're going to have to choose what operation you want ahead of time and be dedicated to it while you're using it. This is your gas connection for your plasma and for your TIG. For plasma, you will use compressed air. For TIG, you will use uh, pure argon. This will be your torch connection right here for TIG and plasma. Now for stick, you will put your work clamp into this location here. Controls are simple, and the unit is fairly easy to set up, but we're going to go over a few of the features anyway so that you get a better idea of what you're going to be getting when you get the product, so you can get started right away.
this torch is a standard 26 series TIG torch. This means that you'll be able to find components locally available for this torch anywhere you should go. This is the S45 cutting torch that comes with the unit. This is for the plasma. It's a 50 amp unit with a 50 amp torch. This is a blowback style start. So there's no high frequency interference while you're using plasma. Now the plasma part of the machine will cut any kind of metal that you'll come across. The S45 torch consumables are available locally in many areas of the country. If you can't find them locally, you can find them available online. They interchange with several name brand uh, companies' torches. So this should not be too big of a problem finding consumables at your local supply store. For those of you wanting to do a little stick welding, this is a stub type electrode holder. This is not the conventional tong type, but this allows you to work well with pipe or any other kind of material. This is the work clamp. It's pretty heavy. It's got a copper strap in there so it can carry a lot of power without overheating. This is the standard supplied regulator for the Power Ultra 205P. Now it's got the floating type ball. It is in liters per minute. That's something you need to know because it is not in cubic feet per hour. To find cubic feet per hour, simply multiply liters per minute times two and you'll get a rough estimation of your cubic feet per hour. As with any plasma cutter, you're going to have to have a water trap. Now this is not an air dryer, this is a water trap. This is your last ditch effort to catch the water before it goes into the plasma. Water and plasma do not mix. You're still going to need to purchase an additional air dryer, whether it's desiccant, filter type, or refrigerated type air dryer. This is the new style foot pedal that we have. It's a lower profile pedal than our old style, and it's also a lot more reliable. As a side note, the foot pedal controls the amps from 5 to 200 amps fully. Now, it does not have a maximum amp limitation that you can set on the panel while the foot pedal is plugged in. That means that your foot pedal has a 5 to 200 amp setting anywhere you want to use the foot pedal within 5 to 200 amps is fine, but you're not going to be able to limit the maximum amps with on the panel while you're using the foot pedal. Now while you're using the TIG torch switch, you can set maximum amps on the panel. Additionally, you're going to receive TIG torch and plasma torch consumables. Now this does not include the tungsten for the TIG, but it does get you a nice little starter kit so that you can hit the ground running once you receive your unit. The TIG torch parts are very cheap, so there's no worry about the cost or the expense of buying them locally. Additionally, you're going to have several other parts inside the box. They're going to range from bags, hoses, lines, clamps, uh, and you're going to find a few of your plasma consumables, screws, fuses, and different items that you're going to need to successfully operate your plasma cutter or your TIG.